Hello, my name is Ben Zambetti. I'm a general surgery resident at the University of Tennessee, and I'm going to discuss our recent study looking at the use of TVAR in patients with blunt aortic and traumatic brain injuries. TBI and BAI are the two leading causes of death after blunt trauma, with 30 to 50% of patients with blunt aortic injury having a concomitant head injury. The use of medical management and TVAR have greatly improved the mortality associated with blunt aortic injury over the past three decades. Unfortunately, the use of permissive hypotension and systemic heparinization are contrary to the standard management of traumatic brain injuries. Therefore, we sought to determine the impact of TVAR on these patients and find what the optimal time to TVAR is. We used the TQIP database from 2007 to 2016 and compared patients with TBI who underwent TVAR to those who were managed non-operatively. For patients who had a TVAR, we used Uden's index to determine the optimal time from presentation to intervention. Over 17,000 patients had blunt aortic injuries during this study period, with 28% also having a TBI. Patients with TBI and BAI had nearly double the in-hospital mortality rate as patients with BAI alone. We found the optimal time to TVAR to be nine hours or later with a reduction in mortality by half when the TVAR was delayed at least nine hours. And on multivariable logistic regression, TVAR was the only modifiable risk factor associated with a mortality benefit in this patient population. In conclusion, TBI is associated with significant increases in morbidity and mortality for patients with blunt aortic injury. TVAR leads to a significant reduction in mortality for these patients and should be performed in a delayed fashion when possible.